You're listening to the Lux Life Discovered Podcast, where we talk with people who are living a lifestyle that reflects their passion, because we believe everyone should be living their best life, their Lux Life. The show is hosted by Rick Steiner with Steiner Event Group, a premier national event planning company, and co-hosted by Shannon Richmond, the vice president of the Panama City Beach Chamber of Commerce. If you are watching on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell to get notifications of future episodes. The show is produced by 30A Media and is broadcast on your favorite podcast outlets, as well as YouTube, Roku TV, Amazon Fire TVs, and other major brand smart TVs. Hello, I'm Rick Steiner with Steiner Event Group. Welcome to Lux Life Discovered. My co-host is Shannon Richmond with the Panama City Beach Chamber of Commerce. So, hello again, Shannon. I'm so excited again. I love this, doing these. Yes, this is going to be a great podcast. He's a sharp young man with a great business venture, and so I'm Without any more to that, it's, this is Adrian Brown with About Bow Ties. Welcome, Adrian. Thanks for having me. Well, you're welcome. You're welcome. I got a million questions. <laughs> She's ready. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I have answers. Okay. So, <laughs> what got you started in bow ties? Well, uh, I've I've always liked bow ties. I, I wore bow ties. Uh, Are they clip on the in real the, bow ties? It? The real yeah. thing? Okay. The real thing, yeah. Uh, and, and mine are kind of unique. I'm going to show you here in a few minutes what I mean by it, uh, especially with the, the, the area that I went into. Uh, the very first bow tie I made was for my own wedding. Ah. Uh, I got married about six years ago uh, to a beautiful woman, and she allowed me a little leeway uh in order to prepare for the wedding uh, he picked out all of the, the the colors and everything and so uh, i wanted to wear a bow tie um, and the tie that she picked out was a straight tie uh, i didn't want to wear straight tie so oh. <laughs> what i did is is i purchased two of those ties the first one was a trial and i converted that into a bow tie so that I can have it for my wedding. Now, that's kind of strange that I could just get a tie and change it into a bow tie, but I have a background in sewing. Okay. okay. All right. I was yeah. going to ask you about that because I can get a tie and try to, well, I can't even tie a bow tie, much less take another yeah. tie and make it a bow tie. So, yeah. My, my grandmother and my mother were both seamstresses. Oh. Uh, they would, when, when I was, a young boy, my, my brothers, my cousins, they would make our suit. They would make our outfit. We we all dressed alike. Uh, they would buy loads of fabric and make us all an outfit out of the same fabric. So we all looked good. <laughs> we all looked smart. Do you, see, do you right. see what I'm trying to do? I'm trying to look over his name to see his bow tie. I know, I know. I can't see it yet. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, maybe if I adjust the camera just a little bit. Oh, there, there we go. go. We yeah. need that yeah. bow tie. You get it now? Hiding yeah, it on purpose to be like, pop bomb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you see the one on the uh, mannequin in the back? Yeah. Too? yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, they they really taught me the basics of sewing. Uh, if, if we ever had a button to break, uh, we had to sew our own buttons. If we had a hole in our sock or shoe or, or pants or anything, if we needed to hem pants, you know, we, we did all of that stuff. We did it by hand. Um, and know, as yeah. far as the the sewing did, machine, that pretty much we just <laughs> trial and error. Yeah. I, um, gosh, I can't even put a button on. I mean, I hate to, I'm really pretty sad, I you guess. You better be really good friends with Adrian. I know I need to stay in touch with Adrian more, yeah. Uh -huh. But I tell you what, yeah. I um, have several of his bow ties, and they're they're sharp. How do you determine, like, with your um, your different styles? I mean, they're all bow ties, but how, your fabrics and stuff, how do you select that? Because you've got some really... <laughs> unique fabrics and they're they're appealing and they're not just like wild they're, they're sharp uh i don't buy any fabric that i wouldn't wear so first i have to like Good it. idea mm -hmm. yeah, yeah yeah and my my uh my taste is, is pretty broad so i'll i'll look for something that's different the fabric that's kind of unique that i've never seen on the bow tie um straight ties you can find Pretty much, you know, anything that you like. 
uh, as far as a straight necktie, but bow ties are kind of limited. They, they're, they're yeah, they you find a lot of them are very conservative. You know, you wear them for a black tie fair or for a wedding or a, uh, some event is what a lot of people wear bow ties. But I, usually, I wear bow ties. Yeah, usually black, anywhere. red, or white, and you know, yeah. solid colors. So very basic. Yeah. Very basic. Yeah. Yeah. What if somebody had no, a I, special event that said, "I really want it to look like X"? Can you make that? Yes, I had a very, very unique request that I'll tell you about. Oh, good. So a groom called me, or he really first sent a, a message, and he um, he said that he was getting married a few months from now, and he wanted to know if I could make a bow tie with a T Rex on it. T Rex, okay. Um, <laughs> and I'm like, well, okay, I I can do that. Uh, he said, but here's the deal is my fiance doesn't want it to be a T-Rex that you can see. And it has to be the same color as the bridesmaid dress. Oh. So now you're making it difficult. Yeah. But I'm like, okay. <laughs> okay. We'll Challenge give, we'll accepted. Give it. <laughs> yes. Uh, so after a few emails, uh, we he's actually sent me a swatch of the fabric from the manufacturer of the bride, uh, the bridal gowns. Uh, I color matched it. I sent it to my supplier with a, a little screenshot of a, a dinosaur, um, and it had to be of the same color scheme. So after a few tries, we finally got it to where I uh, I had samples sent to him, and he said, "That's it. This is the one." And so I ordered the fabric, made the bow ties, and he was happy. <laughs> so how did you do it with the T-Rex and it not being seen? It actually was a, a very small. His fiance, the only way he could do it is it had to be small and look like a, a just a diagonal pattern. But if you look close enough, you can tell that it was a T-Rex. Oh, yeah. that's so great. But then so you it, also it, have to take in consideration tying it. Did you, was it? Did they tie up themselves, or was it already? T t uh, well, that's 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 another unique thing about the ties that I make. Since I, my the majority of my business is not selling one tie at a time on my website. Right. I, I do a lot of weddings, and so oh yeah, you know from doing weddings that not everybody can tie a bow tie. Right. 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 So with my right. bow ties, <laughs> <laughs> I, I I put them together so that. You know, it's a tie, but I have a little clip in the back, and you can just take it off. Oh. Okay. So when people look at that and say, "Well, that's just a that's just a clip on tie," well, it is, but it isn't because it also unties. I didn't know that. Oh, we'd be in a world of well, trouble I if we untied it. I, I could untie every, it. I could do that. Yeah. Every tie I make is the same way. So uh, even with the I, clip, I, it can still, you can still do it. I didn't yeah. know that. Okay. Yes. Every tie I make it the same way uh, that you can, you know, usually most wedding parties that I do, I will go ahead and pre-tie them and ship them already tied if the customer requests that they're already tied. I do have some that are avid bow tie people, and they just said, no, I don't want it tied. Just send it to me straight so I can tie yeah. it myself. Wow. Um, I so I'll, I'll pull them on tie. I, I would have died if I you know, out and been, like, pulled it. The whole thing came. I'm like, what has happened? I messed it up. So. Okay, so <laughs> are, has anybody had to ever return it and go, can you please tie this for me? I have, yeah. I knew it. That's you. <laughs> That's you. Okay. Now, so are bow ties these days just for men? No, no. Uh, actually, uh, when bow ties were first got started, they were just a, 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 a man's fashion. But, but the old bow ties, they were not like these. That they they were more like were ribbon ties. Okay. So. Oh yeah, the uh, little thin drop. Now. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Now, you may be familiar with uh, what women call a skinny scarf. Yeah. Yeah. You know how you take a skinny scarf and you tie it around your neck or you put it around your purse uh, strap or tie it on your jeans loop? Or your hair. 
or your hair. Yeah. Yeah. You can do a lot with a skinny scarf, right? Yes. Well, I'm making skinny scarves, but you know, it's the same knot that you tie your shoes. Yeah. Is the tie of tie. And so a lot of uh, my ties that I that I have, uh, I make like especially with silk. Skinny scarves work best with silk or a light, really light fabric. Mm -hmm. So I make a skinny scarf that coordinates with the bow tie. Interesting. So oh. it's like a his and her kind of thing. You know, some couples like to coordinate. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Some couples like to coordinate. Oh yeah, and, absolutely. And I, I have a few friends that that. Uh, that would just be fun going out and matching, but not being matching. Yeah. Right. That would right. just be fun. I would love that. Yeah, it is more of a coordination. Yeah. Because he's wearing a bow tie, and then she has the the skinny scarf that he can he can wear it around her neck, or she can wear it in her hair, or or wherever. It, it, it it's made to where it's long enough to do you know quite a few things. Ooh, uh, I don't want to match. So are um, bow ties expensive or can just anyone own it? Bow ties can be expensive. Uh, and that's, that's, that's what helped me to start making them myself because uh, not only is the selection limited, but bow ties, you know, they're, they're, they can get pretty expensive. Is it because of the labor uh, or the materials or both? Some of both, okay. uh, especially if you're dealing with silk ties. Silk is very expensive, and then with the with the pandemic and the shipping issues, uh, most of the good silk comes from Italy or China or uh, Taiwan, somewhere like that, India. So you have to get the good silk from overseas. Uh, trying to find good silk here is 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 very limited, and it's it's just as expensive. Uh, you, you, you you can get a lot a larger quantity for the price if you can wait that long time to get it shipped here. Yeah. So that's what makes it expensive. Okay. Uh, but for me, uh, uh, I look for ways to, to try to cut the cost. I don't buy in in bulk in quantity. I try to look for uh, what they call uh, it's it's still that's unused, like the end of the roll. The end of the bolt, uh -huh. where they just want to get rid of it because they're going to make something new and it big be, you know, and really big. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So they'll, they'll, somebody will buy a, a, a 20 yard bolt, they'll buy 19 yards of it, and they've got a, a yard they don't know what to do with it. That's what I look for. But oh. it's just not any fabric. It still has to be a, a, a nice looking fabric that is kind of different and unique. Mm -hmm. uh, so I try to save my customers money by not spending a lot of money on this on the front end and having to uh you know buy that real expensive silk now you can't tell the difference once i make it into a tie you can't tell the difference if it is reclaimed or remnants or anything like that it's still the same quality it's just bought at a discounted price oh that's smart so I don't have any ties on my website over thirty dollars, over thirty-five dollars. Oh, yeah. golly! And are they yeah. silk? Sample, yes. Yeah. And they're only thirty-five dollars. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Most most of the ties I have more with you. Like this is a this is a Japanese cotton. Cotton is less expensive, and it gives you more variance in color and styles and patterns and things like that than silk. Uh, woven silk is very expensive, but cotton is not. Uh -huh. So a lot of my cotton fabric that I'll get, they, they're going to have a lot more color, but they're going to be more affordable. And so those ties are anywhere around 20 to $25. So that's very affordable. Wow, anyway. that is. So yeah. how much material does it take to make a bow tie? Like you said, the end of the yard, sometimes you can have that. Yeah, usually, usually if, if it's just a, a, just a solid color fabric, usually about a quarter of a yard I can make a tie. 
Okay. But if it's a pattern fabric, if I want the pattern to show, then there's a lot of, of waste oh, involved. So just take like a half a yard or or so, just just to get the pattern on on the end. That once you tie it, you only see very a very little small portion of the tie. Got it. So you're only going to see this much of the tie, uh -huh. and so you want to make sure your the best portion of the fabric is exposed. And so I have to cut it a certain way in order to make sure that this little portion is exposed. The rest of it is just what you use to tie the knot. So do you ever get to the point of like you finished the tie and you're like, I hate that. <gasps> have you ever done that? I do. Oh, it really, it's yeah. yeah, but something you may hate, Rick might well, like. Well, sure, yeah. But I mean, it may not have yeah. that desired look oh. that you were going for. Yeah. yeah. So what I do with those is I will go ahead and, and I have a, a separate little case and I carry it with me all the time and I sell those for $10. There you go. Hey. Yeah. Wow. So what do else? you tie every one of them yourself? Yes. Oh my gosh. Adrian. And I, I'll, go ahead. I, I'll tie them if, if you want them tied. Most of them I don't, I don't tie them uh, unless I get a request. Oh, you're going to need to tie somebody's. <laughs> oh, he already knows I, that, yeah. I, I've done that before. <laughs> I was thinking, he has done that at my bridal show. Okay, so I think for our um, annual awards dinner, you know, that's the only time we yeah. get to dress up. I think I need to do chamber bow ties for the guys. Oh, that'd be great. And then maybe even have a wristlet thing that you can make me. Mm -hmm. oh. Well, and, yeah, and it, hey, that well, is also something I do too, is I, I will. Uh, do logo. That's what that's uh, what I'm looking. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's I'll be what sending you say. our I'll logo. logo. Along with the logos, he uh, so had good. been to my bridal show, a couple of my bridal shows, and like we mentioned earlier, like for the grooms uh, bow tie for the wedding, yeah, all the groomsmen he can coordinate the groom's tie with all the groomsmen who uh, all coordinate with the color of the bride's fabric. So it's really kind of neat to see it all coordinated. That, that is, and, and you probably don't say, "Oh, I noticed that." It just probably all looks so nice. It's just and like, just it's like, wow, that's what it should have been. Yeah, it, yeah. It, yeah. it actually makes the pictures. In fact, there was a, a one bride and groom that I actually met at at, the, at one of your bridal shows, and they had a multicolor wedding. They had like four colors. Oh wow! And uh, he he had one color that matched. Two of the bridal dresses. The groomsman had the other two colors. Well, I bet that and when great. we took the picture, it just made it just all go together. Oh, uh, wow. It made it yeah. really good. Yeah. Well, I'm excited. So you need I'm to sitting down to buy in. Yeah, you need five ties in a, uh, you know, olive green. Yeah, that, that might look okay, but. <laughs> yeah, man, I, I know. I bet you just see the you see the photo and you just know that looks good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you don't you don't know that it's a tie, and you you, you right. see a lot of weddings, and that's what I didn't want to do for my wedding. I didn't want to have on a gray suit and a gray tie. Right, right. And that's the way mm -hmm. it usually comes with the tux. It's usually the like the one behind you there that has a black bow tie, or yeah. like you said, red or you know a white mm -hmm. tux with white shirt, white tie. Yeah. So. Very plain. Yeah. It just brings out that, that little color yeah. and little personality and attitude. Sometimes. I think it's the personality yeah. and attitude. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Adrian's got the attitude to go with it, too. Oh. So. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> so your hey, wife, so. is she involved with your bow tie business at all? Uh, only to tell me don't wear the inventory. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, <laughs> it's like, just make it, but don't wear it because we're going to sell yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Is it? You know, sometimes I'll make a tie and I just like, man, I love this tie. He said, don't wear it. Put it on your website. <laughs> okay. That's great. So where do you live? I am in Memphis, Tennessee. Okay. Um, and the I get confused a lot of times. There's a there's a young man that was on Shark Tank that makes bow ties in Memphis, Tennessee. Oh, I do remember. Got, no, you remember hearing about that? I do, that? but I didn't yeah. realize he was from Memphis, but I know who you're talking about. Have you ever yes, met him? I'm, I have, I have. Um, I met him years ago. Years wow. ago. Yeah. Uh, when he, he was, was like, he was probably eleven at the I time. I was gonna say, yeah, eighteen. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. He's he's a, he's a grown man now. <laughs> Is he really? Wow. Gosh, yeah. that, that makes me feel old. So, you're not him, are you? 
No, I'm not him. Uh, you know, he, he, he's, he's the guy that uh, is in Neiman Marcus and places like that. I'm just in my extra bedroom. <laughs> so you ship your bow ties nationwide, right? Uh, and international too. Okay. All right. Oh. Good deal. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. what? Where's your like your the most distance that your ties have gone? You think? Germany, I believe. Really? I actually did a, a wedding for a, a bride and groom in Germany. Interesting. And that was kind of unique, also. Uh, they are Houston Texan fans. And he wanted it to be a football thing in Germany. Okay. And so I made uh, Houston Texan bow ties, sent it to him, and he sent me pictures. And, you know, it was an outside wedding, and they everybody had on the colors. Houston and so they, they were from Germany? Originally, they weren't, like, from? Uh, I think she's from Germany. She's in, from Germany, but he, he lives here. Okay. And now... He, he's uh, in Germany. Okay, yeah. interesting. Yeah. yeah, you just never know. That's no. always interesting. Yeah, never know. Never so, know. have we made any bow ties for any of the Grizzlies? No. Well, we need to I work on that. Well, yeah, yeah. We'll... I did have an opportunity to uh, uh, be at the FedEx Forum. They had a, the Grizzlies Small Business uh, Expo, right? And so I was able to be there for that, and so. You know, maybe a few people saw them, but uh, no request for special ties from any of the Grizzlies yet. I was hoping, but I didn't. Rick, you well, need to work on that. We, you do, yeah. I, uh, yeah, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm right now, so yeah. <laughs> hey, I accept any help you can give me. All right. Well, you know I promote you big time because I, I love oh, you yes, bow ties, sir. yeah. Oh, I'm I, doing I chamber bow ties. That would be good. I yeah. think chamber bow ties, we only do one formal event every year and it's called our annual awards dinner in February. So as soon as I know the theme, I'm calling you and getting all of our board of directors ties and the ladies something. Yeah, so the only thing about that, I want to uh, just let people know, I I understand that there are, especially when you're dealing with logos, there are copyright issues involved, and I don't want to violate any copyright. So <laughs> if you have 100% approval, I can do it. I uh, got gotcha. you. Yeah. I got approval for those. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I'm sure like if you did, like if you did um, like McDonald's, they're probably going to yeah. say, mm. but yeah. Chamber. I got, I got approval. Well, you, it's your local thing, so it's yeah. not like a national. So yeah. Oh, I'm mm-hmm. sending yeah. you my logo. I can't wait. I might yeah. want to wear oh, it great. now. Great. <laughs> a little preview. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, what? I had to get uh, one large job I did for a Tennessee State University. Uh, the the dean actually gave approval to make some ties and uh, actually scarred the skinny scars for a special project they were doing. So. It, it works out with approval, and it turned out, and they, they love those ties. Wow. Oh, nice. Well, you've got such a good market local, locally that you can tap into with the music industry, the sports. Oh, I mean, that's yeah. a lot of different mm-hmm. areas. So um, it's, it's good to see that you're enjoying the success that you're, you're enjoying and meeting the people along the way, making some money along the way. So that, that's always He's not wearing the inventory. Yeah, if you're not wearing the inventory, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Every once in a while. So, Everyone. have you made the coordinating wristlets and scarves for your wife? Uh, uh, when I, whenever I have, she will wear, we'll pick out something uh, and we'll coordinate whenever we go to an event. So, uh, it, it just it just depends. It, it's usually something that's not going to be on the website. It's something a little bit different. Well, now, she's so worn the bow tie to my bridal shows before. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, a bow tie? Yeah. yeah, she has. Oh. And very classy looking, and, and it just looked like it just fit her, you know? Oh. It was perfect, yeah. So, so a woman can wear a bow tie. Um, Is it the same they, kind, uh, same way, same it's clip? It's the same kind, but the way that she wears it is, is a little bit looser. Oh, it's not, I got it's it. not up It's not up to the neck. Got it. Uh, it's a little bit looser. So, like, what what, uh, what, what you're wearing today, if you wore it just right Hang there below right your there. collarbone, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, 
and it, it kind of like uh, just give a little. I think like, I've got. Better, it. I think the jewelry yeah. is. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, she'll see the pictures. She'll have bow ties on all the time now. Yeah. So, are so. you in boutiques around your area? No, no, strictly online. Well, you need to be uh, in boutiques around my area because I'm going to start wearing okay. your bow ties. Hey. All right. Okay. Hey, I I will do that. I do have one. There's a a, a, a gentleman here that has a, a a men's clothing. He does. Uh, he's a tailor. And he does men clothes, and he has he has allowed me to put a few ties in his shop uh, just for exposure. Uh -huh. uh, but other than that, you know, he just well. Look, we're going to be the latest thing here. Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah. I like I, it. I'll be glad to make the tie for All you. All right, you got it. That will be good. Uh huh. Be. So, where do you see like the future with your your bow tie business? Like, what what would be like like the most rewarding? aspect that could or a thing that could happen to you with your bow ties uh probably to be the wedding bow tie guy yeah oh so, you need to trademark your name there you go we yep. just made the wedding right. bow tie guy wedding that's you guy, yeah. so that, that because I, I remember you know the, the the reason i got it i started making them was because i needed that tie yeah yeah that you know, that I wanted to wear. Now, I, I understand that a lot of grooms are not going to be like me, who was called Groomzilla. Uh, <laughs> but there are some that are particular about what they wear and they, they want to look good. Now, I know the wedding is all about the bride. Mm -hmm. It's their day. Oh, yeah. But you just needed that little pop. Right. The yeah. bride looks better when the groom looks better. Oh, so, yeah. Well, you have to put up with a lot just to be silent. So hold Wait, he said, uh, what do you say, Groomzilla? Yeah. I heard yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, I was Groomzilla. <laughs> That's great. Well, Adrian, we appreciate you taking the time to be with us. I can't believe 30 minutes is already gone. But, um, wow. Yeah, it's just crazy. But thank you so much. And it's always good to see you and good to talk to you. How do people share your website with us so that we people will know how to get in touch with you? Yes, sir. My website is aboutbowties.com. Okay. Aboutbowties.com. And, and I'm on all social media. Okay. Um, and on Facebook, Facebook and Instagram, it is shopaboutbowties.com. Okay. We got that on the uh, screen now. So. Yeah, that, yes. Yeah. I'm also on Pinterest. I have an Etsy shop. Um, which at the Etsy shop, I usually do a sale on Tuesday and Sunday. It's a one day sale and it's usually just a few items, but they are heavily discounted. Oh, I'm okay. Well, I'm going. you need yeah. to, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, yeah. it's, it's been great. And so um, thank you again. And so that concludes our episode of Lux Life Discovered. We'll see you next time. Check out Lux Life Discovered on Facebook and Instagram and on 30a.tv. See you next time on Lux Life Discovered.